Now an I-Team investigation. A judge has granted a new hearing to a Nebraska man convicted of two murders some 20 years ago. The issue, DNA evidence, which Jeff Bopri insists will prove his innocence, even though one of the victims scrawled Bopri's name on the floor of the crime scene. KATV News Watch 7's Carol Kloss has our I-Team investigation tonight. September 19, 1988. Inside this house, just north of Scotts Bluff, Nebraska, 25-year-old Richard Valdez and his pregnant girlfriend, 19-year-old Sharon Condon, were found shot to death. And uh, got a match on uh, some shell casings. Actual crime scene video obtained by the I-Team reveals what investigators found. Some images too graphic to show. But near Valdez's body, these letters were scrawled on the floor in automotive grease. J-F-F. B-O-P-E. A clue to the actual killer or a shameless setup. Authorities announced the issuance of the arrest warrant this afternoon. 25-year-old Jeff Beaupre, a known drug dealer who had purchased cocaine from Richard Valdez, was arrested. Six months later, he was convicted of robbery and two counts of first-degree murder and sentenced to life in prison. I'm innocent. I didn't kill nobody. Um, now, at age 45, after several failed appeals, Beaupre talks about his latest break in the case. You know, DNA plays a big role. DNA testing shows that blood found on these men's blue jeans belonged to victim Sharon Condon and grease matches the motor grease in the letters on the floor. But the jeans size 40 waist were too big for Beaupre. These pants were actually withheld from us from trial. Investigators found the jeans inside a trailer belonging to Beaupre's friends, Kennard Wasmer and Alan Neiman, both key witnesses for the prosecution. The jeans fit Wasmer, but Wasmer denied being at the crime scene and was never charged in the case. And if you discredit these two key witnesses against Jeff, then their whole um, case falls apart. Beaupre's lawyer, Lawrence Whelan, asked for a hearing to review the new evidence. A Scott Bluff district judge has granted it. I believe that the jury would have seen that evidence at that time, would have seen the pants and seen that Sharon Connor's blood was on them. And, and they don't fit me, whose pants are they? You know, uh, they would have never convicted me. The Attorney General's office, now handling the appeal for the state, says the DNA evidence does not help Beaupre's case and move to dismiss his claims. But Beaupre so, hopes so the new evidence will be enough for a new trial. And so we sit and wait. In Tecumseh, Nebraska, with more complete coverage, Carol Kloss, KETV Newswatch 7.